My name is Yao Oswansa from Resurrection Power and Living Bread Ministries International. My father's house to be precise, Dan Suman Branch. I have come to you today to share a few thoughts with you from the book of Acts chapter 9, the verse number 4 and the verse number 5. I will paraphrase it. It is all about Saul who became Paul. And this gentleman was persecuting the church, harassing, beating, punishing the church members because they were following Christ. And by virtue of that, on his way to Damascus, God striked him. He fell down. And then when he fell on the grounds and he heard a voice calling him, Saul, Saul. Many a times we do things in this life, we think that God doesn't know our name. We still, we think that we are smart. We abuse people, we think that we are too intelligent. We try to insult people, we think that we are too creative. But here comes God calling the name of Saul who fell down. Saul, Saul. Is it possible that God is calling your name right now, calling you Yao, calling you Philip, calling you Kojo, calling you Amma? Maybe you are hiding yourself in certain areas in life. You are hiding behind so many things, doing things that you think that you can smart God. But God knows you better than yourself. God knows your name. God knows your identity. God knows your telephone number. God knows your house number. God knows you and knows you very well. Saul, so, Saul. So. The amazing thing is that Saul so responded and said, Who art thou, Lord? In the midst of his sinful nature, when he fell down, he realized that there is a lordship that he must give himself to. Can you give your life to Christ before we enter? into the new year i can i can agree with you yes i want to give my life to christ before i enter into the new year so from 2017 to the 2018 i can say that i Yahushua, i have given my life to christ why don't you do the same thing why don't you respond to the same thing so so who are thou lord that was his response. Would you say that, Lord, come into my life? Would you say that, Lord, I give my whole life to you? Would you say that, Lord, in all that I've been doing, I know that I cannot run away from your presence? If that is the case, then please, please, wherever you are, say this after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I have come to that realization of the truth that you are the only savior of my life. Lord, save me now. I am a sinful man. I am a sinful woman. I am a cheater. I have abused people, but I surrender my life to your Lordship. Save me, use me for your glory. In Jesus' name. My dear beloved, as you have prayed this prayer, Believe that your name is written in the book of life. Right now, not tomorrow, right now, not next year, right now, your name is in the book of life. So find around, look around, check around, and you get, or you can Google, look for any good church, any, any Bible church, go there from today, and get something doing in the house. Do you know that? So from that day, he became a great apostle of the gospel. So for now, look for a church, Google, and get a good church, and then fellowship with them. In a year by this time, I will hear your name on radio and television preaching about Christ who died for humanity. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy, happy, glorious, fantabulous New Year. This year that we have entered, it is a good year you will never be disappointed because God is on your side and he's on your side to change you for better. My name is Yon Keep watching DTV.
a drop of blessing. And, and you are blessed. Keep watching.